Hi guys, in this video I will show you how we can set dynamic data to a graph of view e-charts. View e-charts have many graphs, uh, beautiful graphs, very beautiful graphs. Here in this web page, uh, there are many examples uh, uh, of this library. Uh, uh, it's really, really good. Uh, well, in this case, I will show you how we can add dynamic data. First, we need a graph. We need to know the structure of one of our graph. In this case, I will use a bar graph. In this case, a bar graph has this structure, has a title, the x axis and z axis, y axis and series. Here is the data of the labels and here is the labels. How, how we can set this, uh, this set the data to these arrays? In this case, my example, I'm using one select. I select one event and I send one request to the backend and the server re responds with this data. The server sends the data, the data, the server sends the total of participants who paid and the total of participants who not paid. I send these two, these two variables, these two, these two informations, who paid and who not paid. Okay, and um, this is the example. Here is the method which send the request the request and um, i send a request and i send the event id and the server response and when the response is success in this in this part first i need to clean uh, the data of the graph i need to clean i access the property x axis doc array doc data basically this is the array I, I clean all his elements using length equal zero okay um, here I am cleaning the labels and here I am cleaning the values this is the series and this is the x axis. Okay, cleaning labels and cleaning values. These are the values and these are the sorry, these are the labels and these are the values. First I clean it and then I set a text for this graph. I access the proprietor title doc text and I set this text. And then one subtext according to the event that was selected. And I add again the data. I add the labels. And then I add I add the, the values for these labels. This is this this is the variable JSON. And basically how this way I can change, I can dynamic up you can see for this event four people paid and and two people not paid for this event for this another event two people paid and and one paid we are going to verify it this is the name of the event you can see here two people paid and one not paid we go to events and uh, we can see here two people paid and one people no paid never paid for the event and um, you can verify this two people paid and one people no paid okay guys that's it um, I hope that it was, was helpful for you and I hope that you add this example or to your projects. That's it guys, thanks so much.